Imagine a world without chocolate bunnies or egg hunts. That's Easter Sunday without Good Friday, a day steeped in history and surprisingly, a sprinkle of humor. Good Friday commemorates the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, a pivotal event in Christianity. But the story behind the day's name is a bit of a head-scratcher. Here's the thing. Good, doesn't exactly scream, crucifixion. Some theories suggest it's a mistranslation of, God Friday, while others believe it reflects the, good, that came from Jesus' sacrifice. Now, for the funny part. Back in the day, Good Friday wasn't always a solemn occasion. In some places, people would bake hot cross buns, delicious spiced rolls, marked with a cross to ward off evil spirits. Imagine using pastries as tiny shields. Good Friday is also a day of fasting and reflection. But fear not, this doesn't have to mean skipping your favorite breakfast. Traditionally, people would abstain from meat and dairy, leading to some creative, and sometimes questionable, substitutes. One story tells of a group of monks who snuck in some eel on Good Friday, arguing that eels weren't technically fish. Let's just say, loopholes were a popular pastime. Fast forward to today, Good Friday is a day of observance for many Christians. Church services are held, reflecting on the sacrifice made by Jesus. But the day's significance goes beyond religion. Good Friday reminds us of selflessness, of putting the needs of others before our own. It's a time to pause, reflect, and maybe even appreciate the delicious traditions that sprouted from a somber event. Looking at you, chocolate bunnies. So, the next time you bite into a Good Friday treat, remember the story behind it. It's a tale of sacrifice, faith, and yes, even a little bit of eel-related amusement.